Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. We're going to deviate from our standard presentations a little bit tonight because I found something out about my router that I think you all should know, and I want to share it with you. So tonight's presentation is going to be about the Netgear X6 R8000 speed testing. I want to also add before we get into this presentation that my video editor has an AC1750 router, the model that should be just below my unit, and has verified similar results with speeds on his unit. So let's get on with this presentation. Here I just wanted to bring up, in case you were not familiar with the specs on this unit, this router boasts one gigabit Ethernet ports, two 1300 megabit per second 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connections, and a 600 megabit per second 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. So the first test I did, just to make sure that I was receiving numbers that I should be from my DSL provider, was to directly wire my modem through a USB Ethernet adapter into my computer and do a speed test. Now, I do want to add that there may have been a minor bottleneck with the Wi-Fi adapter because I believe the port I used is USB 2.0, which has a theoretical speed limit of 580 megabits per second. The speed that we had monitored using Xfinity's speed test is 404.3 megabits per second, on par with what I was expecting Xfinity to provide me with. My next setup was to directly connect to the R8000 using wireless on one of the 5 gigahertz connections. Yes, the connection was secured, so that may result in some diminishment of speed. I registered 322.1 megabits per second. Remember, this unit boasts a transmission rate or peak transmission rate of 1300 megabits per second. And as you can see in the image, my laptop wasn't more than two feet away from the R8000 in this test. My next attempt was to enable QoS, which should see a slowdown in bandwidth because it takes up processor cycles to redirect the traffic and manage the traffic. Now, as you can see, there was no other device on this unit, and the only traffic the R8000 should have been seeing was the traffic from my laptop. The speed test resulted in a speed of 224.9 megabits per second, a very significant decrease just by enabling QoS. My last test was to connect to this unit with Ethernet. Now this unit, the R8000, should have or boasts that it has four gigabit Ethernet ports and one gigabit WAN port. As you can see that this speed test resulted in 105 megabits per second. A horrible 
throughput for a gigabit connection. Now, it's hard to tell in the photo, nearly impossible, but CAT 6E cords were used for both the connection to the laptop and the connection to the modem, and I attempted this test three times with individual resets and even a factory reset on the Netgear R8000. This was the best speed that I was able to achieve through speed testing on the R8000 using an Ethernet port. As you can tell, this unit far underperforms its specifications provided by Netgear. So my suggestion to you, the viewer, would be not to purchase a Netgear R8000 as this unit is not going to provide you the speeds that you're expecting. And if you are operating an R8000 in your house, please test your speeds in multiple scenarios and post them in the comments. I really would like to know if my router is an isolated incident or if this is common on all R8000 units. I will say I have done some reading on the forums and I have found other users experiencing similar problems. I hope you found this video informative. As always, have a good night.